We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. You had to know cleaning up this mess would be difficult. It's not the challenge, it's the unending part. And really, I blame you. You poured money into a pot that was already full. Everything has shifted. Good job validating the fears of every anti Ferelden and Kirkwall. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You've changed fortunes for many people, not always for the better. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. There are a lot of people in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You guard the guardsmen? I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, doubled patrols. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. Grouse all you want. But the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. And I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. I'm with you if you need me, Hawk. Just say the word.
fine day, isn't it? Everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. I was called to the keep on important business, Bodan. Yes. I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. I came to deliver this to you, the last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. I can put this to good use. Of course. Always happy to help. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bodan. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. You're glaring, Anders. Is there a reason, or is it one of your moods? Your term as captain hasn't been particularly made friendly. I've only turned a handful over to the Templars. To report, Every despot starts somewhere. And yet I allow an abomination to whine at me. Credit where it's due. You've settled in nicely. It's been hard work to get here. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side, inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help. And some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this.
Good. Just if you need any enchantments, I'm sure my boy would be happy to help. Enchantments? Just so. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. I visited Bethany at the Circle. She seems happy enough. I guess I just need to start finding you a suitable wife. Fenris hates that statue. Says it reminds him of the old god relics they had in Tevinter. So you're two people, Anders and Justice. That's not strictly accurate. But you are of two minds. Many people are. Now you're the one not being accurate. I thought those were the rules of this game. I never know who I'm talking to with you. Then it's fortunate it doesn't occur often. You! This is your fault! You and that blighter, Varric Tephras! What did I do? You'll be the end of my boys. I don't even know who you are. Yevon, member in good standing of the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Not that it really matters to people like you. Whatever you think I did, I can fix it. My sons are lost in the deep roads because of stories about you. Your sodding glory and treasure. 
Don't you dare blame him. We both know this was Iwan's doing. If you want to keep your job, shut your mouth, woman. Your boys are grown men. It was their own decision. What exactly were they trying to do? It may be my fault, Monsieur. I've told them all the stories about you. You're the only one who knows where they went. They were following the path of your expedition. Please help me find them. Don't let my boys die down there. Your sons made an expedition into the Deep Roads. Did anyone go with them? They went alone, the fools. Just my three boys against every dark spawn in the Deep Roads. I one is Yevon's middle son. The whole thing was his idea. Emrys and Marin were just following his lead. The greedy bastard didn't want to hire anyone else if it meant he had to share the spoils. Sounds familiar. I thought coming to the surface meant I would never have to face losing my sons to the Darkspawn. I'll do everything in my power to bring your sons home. I should approve, but it seems like I save a lot of fools from themselves. Thank you, Masser. Those boys are my life. They entered the deep roads using the same passage you did. Please find them. I will see you rewarded for your efforts. Excuse me. to report, Captain. Good. Carry on. You're the captain of the guard. You have my thanks for keeping us safe, dear girl. You're quite welcome.
good day to you, Sir.